The three pillars of the Kennedy Center are world-class arts, powerful education, and being a living memorial to President Kennedy. We lift up ideals of service, justice, freedom, courage, and gratitude to really honor him. And with the REACH, we embrace those ideals in the way that we work with communities and the way that the lads work in their art making process seem like a really good fit. The REACH is three new pavilions that they've built on the Kennedy Center's campus. And it's the first classrooms that they've ever had for education and engagement. And the idea is that we'll be working with about 800 to 1,000 people in that community. Welcome, welcome to the school of dance. We're actually the first artist that will be working in the Sardar classroom. Each one of you today will come to this table and grab two trimmings, any two trimmings that you want. And each person makes a little scroll that they get to keep, but they title it and they attach a story to it. I love that this pink matches your sweater. See, thank you. <laughs> It's improbable that people would walk into a classroom and pick up two random pieces of trimmings and roll them together and share something deeply personal, but they do. This is called a piece on masculinity and femininity. I'm of the belief that gender is fluid, and I think that if you just be you, you can live yourself and you are therefore happier and a little less anxious about who you are in the real world. The name of Maestro is not always as it seems. It's called APU. It stands for Adolescent Psychiatric Unit. That's where I spend a lot of my time. These are the chairs, because the chairs are gray. These are the walls, because the walls are blue. The name of my school is Flower Lawn. El nombre de mi rollo es Atardecer. Atardecer means uh, sunset in Spanish. It just brought me back to the place I was born in Venezuela and uh, the beautiful sunsets um, that I used to see there. So really great memories of my time there. The name of our scroll is the Best Friend Scrolls. In those early conversations with Mario, he was like, I wanna just take the next two hours and talk about what your dreams are. And then finally we got an email from him saying, can we get on a call today about the permanent work of art for the Kennedy Center? And we called and we mom and dad and we're like, it's happening, <laughs> put it on the calendar. It's gonna be about 20 family members that are all gonna make it to see the family day scroll-a-thon. The name of my scroll is whoop whoop. The name of my scroll is Cousin Lovin. The name of my scroll is Peach Tree, because I love peaches. When we first came to the space, we were looking out at the views, and Mario pointed up to that wall and said, that's your wall. And so we got very excited about including all of these trimmings that really match the scenery. So when you came into the space, you still felt like they were connected. To see it happening in the space, in these beautiful spaces, it brought to life our hope and our belief in what this project could be. Deborah had come into one of the scrollathon sessions, and on the ground is at least half of the artwork that's completed laying there, and she was so happy with the color. She's like, the colors are perfect. They make this small little thing, this work of art that means so much but then they collaborate on something that's forever. And there's this deeper level of connection that the Kennedy Center has now just created with all of these families. Scroll it tight, scroll it right! Yeah. 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 The work that is taking place in the arts is on a long arc of evolution. We have come from a place where everybody participated and that it moved into being more of a spectator sport, where we came to witness others who were artists. And now we are going back to a time when people actually have art more in their everyday lives. So that's why we've created these spaces. You don't just observe somebody else doing art, but they actually get to participate in it as well. The Reach has so exceeded every expectation or wish that I could have had for this space, not only as a teacher and a learner, but for my students. I think it is the most amazing opportunity. To actually have a part of your idea, your imagination, your soul, and roll it up and have it be a piece of the art is sort of a miracle. The name of my scroll is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. They make the small little thing, this work of art that means so much but then they collaborate on something that's forever. 